It was called the Memphis Music Foundation. Mm -hmm. Right. And mm -hmm. then they brought the former CEO of Time Warner mm -hmm. to run it. And I was like, no, mm. we, I was a founding member. No, I said, we can't do it. We need somebody that's in the music business. Yeah. So I said, Johnny Walker, mm -hmm. who was oh, yeah, at Def Jam, remember? Story, yeah. mm -hmm. And, and right. And so, but they was like, no, we mm -hmm. want the white boy. And that, that caused a big, big fight. Cost me my city council seat, wow. right? Because I ran for city council and they funded my opponent because I said no to them. Yeah. But it's mm -hmm. crazy. But also here's something you might not have known also. You know, we were signed to RCA at the same time. Y'all were at Loud RCA. Mm -hmm. Remember when y'all was at Loud? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Wu-Tang was over there, too. I yeah. think y'all was yeah. over there. We was over at, we was at RCA under uh, what, what was Rough House Records. Mm -hmm. Became Judgment Records and, and, and uh, I got you, Michelle. Became Judgment Records and Rough Nation. Remember Rough Nation, mm -hmm. Gilly the Kid and all mm -hmm. them. And so, and so when RCA at the time, when RCA... They got out of pretty much out of black business. Remember, I mean, out of mm -hmm. black music, yeah, right? right? And yeah. then we were all out, mm -hmm. right? And and the only ones they kept was Jive, the Jive label, which had uh, R. Kelly and and UGK and mm -hmm. Christina Aguilera, yeah. they had, and they kept Christina Aguilera. Yeah, you remember them days? You remember mm -hmm. that day? Yep. So mm -hmm. so yeah, interesting fact. But man, but man, look. Man, we are incredibly proud of you, man, and thankful that you came on to oh, the yeah, show, man. Oh, yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate it. I mean, you know, I like what y'all doing and everything. Like yes, I said, sir. I like to thank God and my mm -hmm. mom and daddy and the people that gave me the job up here, and like Paul and Joseph, mm -hmm. you know, giving me the opportunity to come work yeah. with them, you know, yeah, just man. starting out designing CD covers and running areas and doing stuff to clean yeah. the bathroom, everything you could think of. Right. I did drove. You were smart, though, to do it. Yeah. You stick around. Because my dad, you you know, it, my dad taught me how to work. You know, my parents, <clears> you know, <throat> Grew, you know, my mom and daddy got run a profit. They started mm -hmm. out on their own, like my granddaddy. Because my last name is Moore. Okay, okay. But my real name is supposed to be Wilson because my granddaddy lived in, in the Delta. Okay. And his his great, his great granddaddy was was partly white. So the, the white slave owner had left a bunch of land to him, to the family. Oh. Mm -hmm. They wanted it. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't sell it. So they end up burning everybody in the whole family alive except for my granddad and his sister. Mm -hmm. And so they Man. escaped to Nelson, Mississippi. Uh -huh. Instead of keeping Ooh. the last name Wilson, because they knew they were after him, he took his mama's name, which was more what the family was with, and that's how we ended up with the last name Moore. Wow. 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 Yeah, so what I thought, wow. yeah, that's yeah. a whole podcast. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. because my granddad's name was Bo Megan. He, 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 you know, he's like, you know, he tell me stories about how, because he back then, they used to, you know, they used to hunt black people back then. Yeah, that's right. That's and right. see, my auntie, my Aunt Minnie, you know, which is in my family, so she always tell me, so 